Hello guys, this is Rupesh and welcome to my channel. This is the question which was sent to me by one of my friends and he said it was asked in one of the interviews. So I thought let's solve it for everyone. Now, let's read the question first. There are 25 horses among which you need to find out the fastest 3 horses. Okay, So there are 25 horses and you need to find 3 fastest horses out of them. Now, you can conduct race among at most 5 to find out their relative speed. You can race 5 horses at the most at one time and you can find the relative speed. Actually, at no point you can find out the actual speed of the horse in the race. You cannot measure the uh, speed of the horse, actual speed. You can just find the relative speeds. Now, with these constraints, we are supposed to find out the minimum number of races which are required to get the top 3 horses. Okay. I hope you understood the question. Now, try to solve it for by yourself. Pause this video for some time and then you can go ahead with the solution. I hope you have given it a try and now let's uh, solve this question. So, there are 25 horses and you can put at most 5 horses at once in a race. So, the intuitive thought, first intuitive thought, direct thought that is, let's let's group uh, the horses into groups of five and we get five groups. Let's name them A, B, C, D and E. I have given the names uh, so that uh, I, I can explain it better uh, in better way. Now, there are five horses in group A. Let's raise them and we will find the order, okay, the relative speeds. Let's say A1 is the fastest one of them, A2, A3 a4 and a5 so this is the first race we have taken and we have found out the relative speeds for the five horses so we already know that a4 and a5 we can remove from the equation they are not the uh, fastest three horses they are not among the fastest three horses because if it is it will be a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 are already slower than a1 a2 and a3 that's that's why they are not the fast three horses this is so we could eliminate this two right we could eliminate A4 and A5 from the first race. So after first race, we have eliminated two horses. Let's continue that for group B. So we get B1, B2, B3. Okay. Similarly, B4 and B5 will be eliminated. I am not writing them because they are out of the equation now. We have C1, C2, C3. We have D1, D2, D3. We have E1, E2, E3. How many races have taken place till now? Five races, right? I hope you kept the tab on number of races. So till now, okay, we have done five races. Okay. And we have eliminated 10 horses. That means we have 15 horses with us now. And we have given, given them names. Sorry, horses. Let's take it a step further now. So, these are the 15 horses we have. What should I do next? Okay. I think, like when, when I think it logically, let's find the relative speeds of the fastest horses of the each group. Okay. So, I will race this ones. A1, B1, C1, D1 and E1. We are going to race this 5. Let's say some order will come up, right? Let's say the order is this one, B1, A1, E1, D1 and C1. Okay, so that means uh, the B1 is fastest, A1 came second, uh, E1 came third, D1 came fourth and C1 came fifth. By this logic, we have already eliminated D1 and C1 because they are not among the top three horses. Got it? But... Additionally, as we already know that D1 is not among the top three horses, fastest three horses, but D2 is slower than D1 and D3 is slower than D2. Okay. That means not just D1, but D2 and D3 are also not among the top three horses. Similarly, C1 is not among the top three. So C2 and C3 are also not among the top three. So we have all again eliminated as you can see, we have only nine horses now after the sixth race. Okay, this was the sixth race. Let me write it. 
and we have b2 b1 b2 b3 a1 a2 a3 e1 e2 e3 but guys before we go to the next race we have some thinking to do because we can eliminate more horses here only let's see do we know which horse is fastest yes we already know b1 is fastest can you tell me which horses can be second fast let me let's say this this is fastest one right which is the sec which can be the second horse uh, among them right can it be e1 no because e1 is slower than a1 right these are the relative speeds we are thinking of so as we can see either b2 or a2 can be second fast right one of these two if we go by this logic we know that e1 okay if if i look at e1 let me let me circle e1 for you if i look at e1 we already know that it cannot be second fastest or first fastest it can be only third fastest so e2 and e3 can be removed now let's see right, right? why okay i have i have already removed uh, this d1 d1 and c1 so let me put uh, this blue circles for them they have been removed similarly i can now remove e2 and e3 why e2 and e3 are slower than e1 and e1 is already at at most it is third fastest it cannot be first fast or second fast similarly uh, a1 can be second right now after that a2 can be third but a3 will is again out of equation so we have removed that also so i i i i think you should uh, go through this again to uh, if if you get confused why i am removing these horses from the equation but by relative speeds by thinking of the relative speeds we have already removed this much horses now how many horses are remaining now six out of them b1 is already fastest b1 is already fastest so we will now have seventh race okay and it will be among these ones a1 okay b2 b3 a2 and a1 because we don't know the which is second fastest like b2 or a1 and depending on that uh, the third horse will be decided so we take seventh race okay let's say in some order this five horses run and in some order they come let's say uh, in this race particular race let's say b2 comes first uh, then a1 then b3 then a2 and then a1 so from this we take the top two horses we already know the fastest horse fastest horse is b1 and the uh, the top two of the seventh race okay we know and in this way we have found out the uh, fastest three horses i hope you have understood this solution if not you can comment your doubt and we can discuss it further discuss it further uh, thank you very much